It's been a little while, you know, since I've talked about the bots. And honestly, there was good reason for it. They weren't bothering me. I could play TF2 most days in most servers without running into any. And when I did, they got kicked instantly. Like, it seemed Valve's changes had actually had some positive effects in the game. And the bot makers seemed to be getting a little bit bored. Until just recently. Over the last couple of days, maybe like a week now, it feels like one of the changes that I remember Valve making back last summer when they stopped bots from being able to change their Steam names and profile pictures has been reverted for some reason. I thought I was just going crazy about this, but I went back and checked. It turns out they did make this change, but it was just for free accounts. So anyway, before we properly get into this, I just want to let you all know that a bunch of you watching right now probably aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you like what you're watching, I'd appreciate it if you click the button. You can always unsub later, like that's free as well. I'm also announcing something huge on my Twitter February 1st. So please go and follow it. I want as many people to see it as possible. So this whole bot thing has been driving me crazy for days, okay? Because for the longest time, when the name change bots were coming back, I was thinking that the TF team had either removed the feature that stopped people from changing names on purpose, or I was coming up with like super convoluted solutions in my head as to how this could have happened by accident. I think my main idea was Valve had different builds of the game that they had been working on, and they didn't change one of the TF2 builds that got updated or put... I don't even know if that's how game development works. And I feel like every time I say it, I sound even more silly. But it's like they had different versions of the game. One with like the Smithmas update, for example, in, and one that they just did the bot changes on. They didn't move the bot changes over to the Smithmas one because they finished that update first or something like that. Again, I feel like I'm just making myself sound silly. And I don't think Valve were really doing the Smithmas update or the Screen Fortress update in June. So pretty much there goes that theory. So we'll ignore that. But then it all kind of made a little bit more sense when I went back and checked the update notes and it had shown that it was only actually limited for free accounts. And these bots are still doing this, which means they are pay to play accounts. And this has kind of been the trend recently with the bots now spamming the chat again and there's being a ton of issues surrounding the bots slowly gaining back the power that it felt like Valve was taking away from them bit by bit. So I really don't want to see the bots like grab it back bit by bit either. And the only way they're doing this is just by paying Valve. Okay, so this kind of got me thinking, what could Valve actually do if they are not close to finding a solution that removes the bots for good? So for example, say they were working on a VAC update. Nobody knows if they are or not. Nobody <laughs> thinks really they are, but if they were, how close are they to having that finished so it would be worth like taking a break from it, fixing this specific issue, and then going back to it and finishing it? Or just skip this issue completely because VAC is kind of close to being done. I mean, I personally cannot think of a single TF2 player that really cares that much about changing their name while in the middle of a game, right? Or am I alone there? So me personally, I wouldn't mind it if Valve made it so nobody could change their name or picture in game because why do you need to? That way, the bots will be stuck with one name or one picture. They'll be way easier to kick out of the game and then that whole issue of bot stealing names and getting innocent players kicked is gone. Like the amount of times I try to kick the bot that is named after me in the server, people voted no and then I get kicked. Like that's actually insane how many times that has happened. But I don't really think Valve can do too much about the intelligence of TF2 players sometimes, okay? The vast majority of you guys are very, very smart, okay? But there's some people who just don't really think while they're in game about kicking people, which is fair. You're thinking about the game, but still. I'm probably being a hypocrite. Sometimes I'll just click F1 because I think, you know, they're hopefully voting the right person. But Valve can't do anything about my intelligence either. So, you know, we're all kind of doomed. But yeah, basically, I feel like Valve should just completely limit people changing their names in game and their pictures just because it makes actually finding the cheaters way easier. And who is actually going to complain that they can't change their name in game? Like, I don't, I've never seen people really do that ever. Another idea I had to try and make it so the bots aren't as annoying or as intrusive as they are right now is putting a timer on how long you have to be in a game before you're allowed to call a vote on someone. So say, for example, a bot just joins the game. It's impersonating somebody in that game and they'll try and call a vote kick straight away so nobody can kick them as soon as they've joined. But now if they join a game, they can't actually call a vote kick straight away so people can notice who it is and the person who's potentially being impersonated can call the vote on the right person straight away because of the cooldown and the bot impersonating them can't call a vote making it look all weird. 
I don't know if that would work. I don't know if that's even a very good idea. So let me know in the comments if you like it or not, or what could be changed about that. Because Valve have done some changes to the voting system already throughout this whole like bot crisis TF2 has been going through. But I don't think anybody's really mentioned putting a timer on it yet because bots join a game and they try and kick somebody straight away. So that just eliminates that problem as well. I think with this video basically saying that a lot of the bots right now are on pay to play accounts. I do think a lot of people are now going to be saying, well, do free to play still need to be silenced because, you know, all of these bots are pay to play now. And I, I still think yes. But let me explain. There will still be a lot of bots, right, whose bot owners are either kids or who just don't want to pay money to get their bots to premium to exploit all of the features that a pay-to-play account has over a free-to-play account. So if you end up removing the restrictions on free-to-plays way too early, we're going to go back to what we had last May where every single server was full of the chat and people were stealing names and stuff right now, right? Like, yeah, quite a few bots are using pay-to-play accounts now, but I guarantee you there'll be like at least five, ten times more bots on free-to-play accounts than there are pay-to-play. So it still sucks that free-to-play players can't ask questions or use the chat at all, but I still think it works against all of the bot makers who refuse to pay to make their bots more annoying. At least for the meantime. Like, at some point, surely, Valve are just like, fine, everybody can talk again. I can also imagine for Valve, this would be a pretty weird situation to be put in because on one hand, they don't want the bots ruining the game, but at the same time, they're making money from all of these bot makers buying pay-to-play on their accounts. I mean... I hope that even though they are making some money from the bot makers, Valve still choose the side of, you know, saving their game. That just makes way more sense. And to be fair, if Valve want to take even more of the bot makers' money, you could take them to court. Like making an example out of some of the bigger sites like they did with the gambling sites back in like 2016, I think. Because let's be honest, some 12-year-old kid in their bedroom who hosts bots isn't going to want to mess with Valve, let's be honest here. I don't think there's any bot maker who really has the resources and, you know, feels they can actually go up against Valve. In fact, there's probably some that do, but they're idiots. So that's a more aggressive route Valve could take if they don't want to fix their game. They could just, you know, threaten bot makers so they don't have to fix their game. But again, I don't know. I don't work at Valve. I don't know the way they think. I don't know really anything about like game development or how they would even combat this and how difficult it could be. So I'm a YouTuber, man. I'm just talking about things. But yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said at the start, there's going to be something big announced on my Twitter on February the 1st. So you're going to want to go and follow that. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are brand new here. I'm going to be trying to make a video nearly every single day for the rest of this year. And they're all pretty good videos. But yeah, all my socials and stuff are linked in the description. You can buy yourself a Spiky Mikey sticker if you really want to. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Thank you all so much for watching once again and goodbye.